Halara? I've been thinking. The first incident was six months ago, right? If we go to the crime scene now, there's nothing left to investigate. You think it will be a waste of time? There's no need to worry about that. So, you have a plan then? What? You're working with Halara Nightmare. What more could you possibly ask for? Now, let's be swift. Huh? Right. I don't really get it, but talk about confidence! Where's the secret club? There's a peacekeeper here. Okay. So the secret club. I mean, it's a secret club, which probably it's means to be a secret, so maybe it's I need to be. It stand out? It's probably going to be a place where I have to work for in order to find it, right? Okay, I have a theory. Could it be underground? Yo. My theory is correct. You a customer? Huh? Wait, what? Oh, here we go. This appears to be the crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months? No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. Easy to a fault. Huh? It's open. Let's go inside. So where's the lock room in here? It's just one single area. The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found around here. The victim's name is Suguma Iho, an old man who owned this place. His reputation left much to be desired. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. No windows? The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside? It's a locked room mystery! Locked room and a mystery! <laughs> but there's not much more to investigate. We don't know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, your forte! My forte is post-cognition. The power to see the past. However, it can only be used at murder scenes. To be precise, I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. That's amazing! It's like the perfect forte for a detective! My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Really? This is crazy. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. When it comes to my power, 
The witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. That power sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. It's similar to the mystery labyrinth, where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. But now it's done in the real world. Although, it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. But still, it's amazing. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. Why is life so unfair? Now I'm angry! Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? Well, of course not! Alright. Let's see your power. What? I'm investigating, don't interfere. Oh. Okay. Okay, what in the world is this? Post-cognition. I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. Well, do I have some good news for you. What is it this time? Master, try to remember. Did you feel anything back on the Amaterasu Express? You know, when the other master detectives use their powers? This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yes, that's it! Maybe your coalescence will work now! Coalescence? Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. I can share someone's power? On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's amazing! Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that? But there are conditions for it to activate. You must kiss someone to share their ability. What the heck? So I gotta kiss a ghost? And because Halara can't see you, that means I'm kissing nothing. What? Kiss Halara? Oh, did you blush? Did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara's a boy or a girl. Wait, you meant kissing Halara? Why would I want to do that? I'm not that attracted to her. Oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. We need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then, you must hold hands while the ability is active. That's it. Okay, I can do that. What? I wanna- I'm gonna hold her hand while doing that? The heck kind of ability is that? Um, Halara. Hmm. Halara? I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. Coalescence. Hold hands. You and me. Yes, that way I'll be able to see the past too. I think. My sources made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Yeah, but I just remembered I had it. Anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Oh, uh, it's not like that. I despise you. Huh? Just the thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. I didn't know you hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. I despise all of humanity equally. I don't trust anyone. Except the dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a feeling. 
Kalara must be a demon straight from hell. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As I told you in the beginning, I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Then please, hold my hand. It's necessary for the investigation. You can add this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then, right? Hmm. <sighs> Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. different than a moment ago. Incredible. So this is post-cognition. Can you really see it? So your coalescence is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, this does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Me? If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. This is quite the bizarre crime scene. But unusual crime scenes are expected when you work for the WDO. Now, Let's see what you're capable of. Okay. Let's start with this. What does that mean? When the body was discovered, this door was locked from the inside. There's no other way into or out of the room. In other words, it's a locker mystery. Locked room mystery. Things are heating up. Encounter seat. That's... The chairs are lined up neatly. Did someone rearrange the chairs after no. the incident? Either the peacekeepers did so, or the staff here did. Either way, it's not something to worry about. True, I'll check someplace else. Alright. Sorry, check that. There's a poker table here, or I guess it's a roulette table. That's... There's a roulette table. It probably hasn't been used since the incident. It's as it's covered in dust. There don't appear to be any clues on top of the roulette table. Mm. There's nothing underneath either. We should check someplace else. Right, let's do that. Okay, and then finally... The original location. What? Oh. That's... There's a vent here. The four corners of the cover are screwed down, so I don't think it will open. I doubt the cover can be opened when it's like this. Right. It's too early to include. There's no useful information. Compare it with what was seen in post-cognition. Right, I'll give it a try. A body. I see a body. The murder scene through Halara's eyes is completely silent. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor, and a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. And this all feels like a dream. It doesn't seem real. There are abnormal decorations all around the crime scene. And it's so, so quiet. Holy crap. I knew it. 
Sure enough, the secret club has dolls nailed to the wall, too. Yeah. That must be the nail man's calling card. They're nailed into the wall seemingly at random, facing all directions. I can't find a pattern. There's nothing that can be connected to the culprit. Let's try checking someplace else. Okay, how about the corpse? It's a man's corpse. He's probably around 60 years old. His body is pinned against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. Oh, there are marks on him. Signs that he was strangled. And the vertical scratch marks were probably made when he resisted. The most basic of basic observations. Well, at least you noticed. That's thanks to everything I taught you at the clock tower. <laughs> Such an awesome mentor. This situation is identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death, and then decorated the room afterward. But why? Okay, so the lady at the clock tower died pretty much the same way. Hey, this vent. The cover is in place, but it hasn't been screwed on. Which means it could be easily removed, right? What are you doing? You can't touch what you see in post-cognition. Even if you happen to be three meters tall. Oh, I see. But I think this will be an important clue. The vent is about 40 by 30 centimeters. A thin adult can probably pass through. I think that's everything. By the way, Yuma, did you notice the nail below the vent? Below the vent? Huh, some of the nails are bent downward. Maybe they were hammered in a hurry. Or perhaps there's another reason. Another reason? Huh. That is interesting. I have to say, host cognition is amazing. You can see the exact crime scene the moment the body was first discovered. Were you born with this power? My forte is no ordinary superpower. It is a highly refined technique heightened through training. So you weren't able to use it in the beginning? I could. But initially, it was just ordinary psychometry. Since I was young, I would often get sudden glimpses of the past, as if I was experiencing a flashback. After a while, touching people or objects resulted in visions flowing through my mind. I only learned it was a form of psychometry after growing older. In the WDO, simply having psychometry as a trainee grants you preferential treatment. But I was not satisfied. I believe I could use this ability more effectively as a detective. And through painstaking effort and training, I gained this ability in three days. Three days?! As I told you earlier, this ability can only see when a corpse is first discovered. It can't be used from the culprit or victim's viewpoint. It is only when a third party first witnesses a crime scene. There are conditions for my post-cognition to activate. First, I must be standing at the crime scene. This condition is absolutely required. I must also know the victim's name and face. That's why prior research is crucial. Lastly, Post-cognition is only effective in a 10-meter radius around the body. At this time, I can only see the crime scene and the victim. I can't see any living things that were at the scene. So if someone was hiding in the room, 
you wouldn't be able to see them? No. My ability isn't so good at detecting people. Still, this is incredibly effective in investigating murder cases. Feel free to summon me whenever you need my help. Of course, I don't work for cheap. You're not gonna change your mind on that, I guess. So is this it? Am I done here? I was wondering, if fortes are so up, can't they be used to commit crimes as well? For example, let's say someone has telekinesis. Wouldn't they be able to easily create a locked room mystery? Of course, it would be possible to abuse master detective powers. It's all a matter of how you use them. Some master detectives have turned to crime in the past. But as far as incidents in Kanai Ward, you won't have to worry about that possibility. Why is that? The entire city is closed off. There are no master detectives here, besides us. Ah, so because there's no way for more master detectives to sneak in, they can't use their abilities to commit crimes. You must assume that there is no such thing as a truly impossible crime, and interpret the case accordingly. This line of thinking will be necessary for the investigation we're undertaking. That's very educational. Are you sure you don't need to hurry? It's already uncomfortable to hold hands like this. I'd be happier if you made it quick. What? Okay, how about this part? Whoa. Chair is not. Could this be evidence of a struggle between the victim and the culprit? Mm. I don't know about that. The culprit could have knocked it over on purpose to throw off the investigation. There's not much we can get from it other than the fact that it's knocked over. Let's check somewhere else. How about this. The lock is broken. Maybe someone broke it and forced their way in, like at the clock tower. But from the looks of it, there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered with. Okay. Okay, and then how about here? Oh my gosh! Hmm? Was this moved during the incident? As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem related to the case. Yeah, yeah let's check another place. But there's a doll on the table. That's... There's a doll nailed to the roulette table too. There's also a doll nailed here, right in the middle of the roulette wheel. The doll itself seems to be the same as the others. There doesn't seem to be anything noteworthy. That is in and of itself sufficient knowledge. Let's check someplace else. Oh, did I check around the counter yet? Glass on the counter. There's a glass on the counter. It has a thin layer of dust, so it could have been there since the incident. Mm. A key was in the glass at the time. The body was discovered. If you want to investigate, we should use post-cognition. Right. Got it. Okay. Now, what does it say? Oh, wait a minute. Slot machine. Wait, hold on. That's... There's a slot machine here. It's been untouched for a while, so it's covered in dust. As far as I can tell, there are no traces that it could be related to the crime. Well, if you're curious about the scene at the... Okay. Alright. Yeah. The saw machine is spotless. Looks like it was well taken care of. There's nothing here of interest. Yeah. Seems that way. Let's check someplace else. Right. And then the glass encounter. Oh, there's a key in the glass. Is it the key to the room? Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, the security was extremely tight. There's only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. If it was thrown in from outside the vent, it wouldn't be inside the glass. 
So this is definitely another locked room mystery! Hooray! I'm so glad I met you! Okay, so that's the only key and it's like very particular. That's about it. I think I've checked what I can here. That should do it. There isn't much else to investigate. I've never experienced this before, but it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post-cognition. It's exhausting to explain what I see to a client. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. I suppose fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Ginma District. I have an idea of where to go. Let's hurry there. All right, with that being said, that is going to be it for this episode of Master Tech of Archives Raincoat. And next time, we are going to go to the Ginma district and investigate a mansion there uh, to see what more can we learn about the locker room mysteries of the Nail Man. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>